I found a buffalo nickel and a silver quarter right over there. And I've just been working this end zone. Got a 30 to a 32. Uh, ringing up real high. And looky here. Right there. That's going to be another. Well, good morning. Back out on location this morning from uh, the last video that you saw that I did. I put together. It was called Gridiron uh, Treasures. I'll put the card right here. But uh, I've got Jason is with me this morning and Mike's going to come out later on. But we're back at this football field and uh, we just believe, we cleared out a lot of the clad. We just believe there's a lot more to be found out here. There's a lot of area to cover. So we're back out at uh, 7 this morning. We're going to hit it for about 4 or 5 hours and we're going to see what we can come up with. I brought my big coil today and um, my theory is I'm going to go deeper and listen deeper and go slower and really kind of grid off instead of kind of just going around we're just going to kind of grid because this is an old football field and everything we dug out last time we were here was all in the 40s and some things were down about 10 inches some things were just two inches but uh we're going to get out here and start swinging and let's see what we can find so let's go have some fun we ain't been out here five minutes and jason's already called me over says so he's got a ring check this out oh wow yeah Dude, ring up a solid Ten wouldn't move any way I went. A ten? Solid ten. Can I pluck it? Go ahead, get after it. That should be like a silver. That should be ringing higher than a ten. That looks silver. Wow, that's nice, man. Look that out, guys. Got a little fancy on the front. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's ringing ten because it's stainless steel. That's why it's got a name. One of those name rings on it. You know what? Curtis. A ring is a ring is a ring. Curtis X, I guess, or Curtis. Oh, ring is a ring, man. That's ring, pretty nice. Ring is That's a why ring. it's ringing up a 10. I believe it's going to be stainless steel. I think you're probably right. All right, let's keep swinging, man. Well, five minutes and there's a ring, so let's get at it. There's going to be some more out here. Well, I worked myself down this line, down the sideline on the home field side. I worked that side over there last week. Jason's up there. And... Uh, I got three signals here, actually four, and you can see here, wheat penny, wheat penny, wheat penny, wheat penny, wheat penny, wheat penny, and I still got another signal in the hole. Check this out. I see a little edge of silver, so let's pop that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's going to be a 19... 44 quarter right there this must have been a spill uh, three Wheaties uh, I hadn't even looked on the date on those and now a silver here so that's good that's a good start got a little coin spill right here at the very beginning and uh, so let's keep at it and see what else we can find there's a lot to be covered yet a lot of stuff still in this field all right let's keep going well I got another signal I got a wheat penny wheat penny and wheat penny with the quarter and then just one foot over here i got another signal down here i just saw it just there it is right down there check it out that's going to be ah all right rub that rosy uh 19 i can't read it 19 i don't know I don't have my glasses on. Anyway, I'll take that. That's pretty nice. So it's going to be a little spill right here. All right, let's get a pictures and let's keep on swinging. Moved on about 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 yards away from that little coin spill that I found. Still working this end of the field. Jason's up on the other end. I got a 25 here and uh, some type of uh, little charm or something. I don't know what that is. Ha! Ah, well, look at that. Preacher Digger didn't get his cross, but Preacher Digger did get his angel. Hey, that all, all clean up really nice. Looks like an angel with angel wings. That looks kind of old, doesn't it? It's, I guess, copper. It looks copper. Rang up like copper. I'll take it. I like old stuff like this. This is in the same area where they found some track metals last time we were here. All right, let's keep on going. 
well I'm working myself back up I'm not too far away from where that coin spill I was getting a 19 I haven't been doing a lot of live digs because there's a lot of 14 15 17 18 19s in here and they just been the old pull tabs and broken beaver tails and and all that so it's just a lot of trash we're digging too but this is a neat find check this out y'all know what that is bringing up a 19 on the equinox that's going to be an old knife pocket knife still got a little bit of the bone handle on it another relic right there check that out there's things still to be found out here i knew we didn't cover it very well it's just too big of a field too much to to be looking for so all right let's keep on going getting a, a very deep 27 to 29 and uh, got my first target and it was this uh piece of uh staple i could hear a little chirp in there but i know that that's not what i was digging for but listen we got another signal right there i uncovered it already check that out look how deep this is that is eight inches that is going to be coins are coming out of here real good in this sandy dirt 1940 40 something I don't know I can't tell all right uh, that's good there's a lot of silvers right in here we've missed all right let's uh, get a picture of that let's keep on going 26 30 31 27 showing about six to showing about six to eight inches deep more like like eight inches deep so Let's, uh, let's live dig this one and see if we can uh, maybe dig a good silver together. That's a good signal. Very deep, good high pitch tone. There's a lot of iron in here. I've been digging up with these targets too. And uh, so maybe. It's going to be right over there. That's going to be just a memorial, ringing up that high. That's crazy. All right, that's what you get. Let's keep on digging. This is what we're digging a lot of these up, these ace bandage little clips. The football field is filled with them, and uh, I'll dig one every once in a while. They ring up like a nickel, and sometimes they ring up like a pull tab. Um, anyway, got to dig this stuff to find the good stuff, and I'm in a spot where I've been finding a lot of my stuff today, so... I'll keep digging. Let's keep on going. field it's been a while since I dug my last target but uh, I've been kind of focusing just 
from the middle of the field in this area right here. I don't know if there's an old home site here before the field was here. There's a lot of iron in the ground and uh, digging lead stuff. Uh, I don't know what, uh, if I can find it, I was going to show it to you. Yeah. Digging big lead caps like this. That's ring. That was like almost a foot deep. And uh, so just working this out here. And I got silver in the hole. I don't know what it is. I see the air. Oh, it's not a coin. It's not a coin. See it right there? Let me call Jason down here and let him see this one. All right. All right. You see that? I thought it was going to be, I saw the edge. Thought it was going to be a coin, but it's not going to be a coin. Check that out. That is going to be a little silver ring. It's ringing up a 27 to a 31. And uh, so Jason's not coming down here, so I'm going to pop this and uh, see what we got here. Let's see if I can clean it up a little bit. I don't know if you can read that. It says Sterling. Sterling ring. How about that? I'll take that any day. All right. Get it over here where we can see a little bit better. Let me uh, let me put it down here and I can get a better shot at it. Looks like an old, old ring. All right, let's take some pictures and let's keep on going. Jason just called me over. I heard a ha-ha. So, oh, I see. It's going to be a mercury dime. Maybe if we're lucky. It's a merc. It's an old one. It don't look like it, though. Well, clean it up. Let's see what it is. Let's see. It's coming in the coin. All the coins come out of here good yeah, in that glass. sand. And it's going to be a 19, I don't know, 33? Uh, 1943. 43. Pretty common. Look like I kissed it. Look like he kissed it a little bit. Mm. All right. Well, that's good. There's a lot of Wheaties came right out of this section, too, uh, last time we were here. And uh, so that's like silver number, gosh. That's a lot. We dug a lot of war nickels, a couple of mercs, rosy, one quarter, and uh, two rings, one stainless, one silver, and some other knick-knack stuff. This goes to show you, you can't dig a football field out. There's just so much out here, so much area to cover. So I'm going to get in a section just kind of start grading. So let's get at it. I'm back down here in the end zone. Uh, last video I made, the gridiron, gridiron treasures, I found a buffalo nickel and a silver quarter right over there and I've just been working this end zone got a 30 to a 32 uh, ringing up real high and looky here right there that's gonna be another silver quarter let me get my other camera and we'll get a close-up we'll pop it together all right let's see what this is gonna be I wish it'd be a standing Liberty no it's just gonna be a Washington gonna be a 19 can you read that? 1944? Yeah, 1944 Washington Quarter. That's number two out of this end zone. All right, let's get a... Let's get a picture and let's keep on swinging. It's not a quarter. I got another 27 to 29, about six inches deep, just popped it up. And uh, that's gonna be a silver. I don't know what kind it is. So let me get my other camera and we will see what it is together. And uh, there it is. It's older looking. Oh, that's gonna no. be a Merc. That's gonna be a Merc. Did I drop it? Yeah. Oh, I can't tell, 19. What do y'all think? Let me lay it down. We'll get a bit of, a little bit better. 
I don't know. Let me clean it up and I'll get back with you. All right, I think 1936 is what that's going to be. I dug my quarter just right over there. And I dug last week a quarter right over there. And uh, so in the territory. All right, let's take some pictures and keep on going. And I dug my, my uh, I think it's right over there. I dug my, what did I dig? Mercury dime. And I came up here and kind of turned around, came back getting a, a 12, about six inches deep. And I got a buffalo nickel. I'll take those buffalo nickels all day long. I love digging them. Ringing up a solid 12. A solid 12. And the war nickels are ringing up like a 13. And Jason's got like three or four war nickels already. All right. I'll take those buffaloes. I like them. All right. Let's keep on going. We finished up this afternoon. Or I should say this morning. It's just now noon. And we had a really good time. We had a better trip out this time around than we did last time. We thought that would be the case since we cleaned out a lot of trash and cleaned up a lot of the clad off the top of the ground. And we could start listening for different targets. And we got a lot of good targets here. And uh, we had a good day. Let me spin you around. Let me show you what I've got. There's Jason. Say hello, Jason. Wow. That's his invite to have me come out here uh, today and last week. There's all of our trash. We just do it all together. You can tell we were digging a lot of targets right there. Uh, he ended up digging a lot of clad. He got two 50 cent pieces. Were they in the same hole you said? Same hole. Same hole. Then he got uh, eight uh, quarters, and then he got a bunch of dimes, a bunch of pennies. And look at this. He was killing it on those nickels. He was going for those gold rings, I think. And then he got a dog tag, two pieces of little jewelry, and then his first target was a uh, stainless steel ring. It says Curtis. I dig a bunch of those in the lake all the time. Those are not too old. He got uh, 10 Wheaties, and he had a best, his best, was it your best? His best. How many silvers? Seven? Seven. Seven silvers. Check that out. He got three war nickels. Look at all those nickels. And then he got three war nickels. He got two rosies and two mercuries. So seven silvers. So congratulations, friend, mm -hmm. on your most silver in one day. And uh, here's what I got. I got two dollars and quarters. I got 11 dimes. I only dug one nickel and uh, 5, 10, 15, 23 pennies. And I've got uh, five Wheaties. And I dug one Buffalo nickel, ringing up a number 12. I did get a pocket knife and still in fairly good condition. And my jewelry was a little angel's wings type of little, I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a pin or or what. But I did get that nice little little kid sterling silver ring. I got one rosy today, and I got two mercuries today, a 45 and a 36, and that 36 must have been dropped the year, because it's, no, it's in impeccable shape. And then I got a 1944 and a 1941 Washington quarter. So I ended up with five silvers, plus the ring of six silvers. And so there it is. We had an excellent day today. Man, we killed it and cleaned out a lot of trash, and we killed it last week, too. But uh, there's still a lot of stuff still out there, don't you think? Yes, sir. I think there's still a lot of uh, coins left out there. We just need to keep searching it. So there it is, folks. There's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure is not what you can dig up in a football field and put on your tailgate. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting. And God bless. All right, folks. It's trivia time. Uh... In uh, my last video, I dug a ring on my very first target. Uh, what kind of ring was it? Now, I'm looking for the specifics now. What kind of ring was it? And uh, first one to comment and uh, get it correct is going to win a Preacher Digger sticker and something else I'll throw in the mail. So, good luck, everybody.